IBM designed the first mainframe, or the Big Iron, as it was called in the 1960s. Banks, insurance, com insurance companies and government departments rely on the large-scale computers to process millions of transactions. But an ageing workforce is maintaining the technology, and some believe a skills shortage is looming. Emily Stewart reports. Half a century on, and the mainframe is still at the heart of modern technology. If today you use an ATM, or you book an airline ticket, or call an insurance company to get a car or a house a court, it's very likely that the computing system supporting that transaction at the back end is an IBM mainframe. Mainframes are used largely in the financial and insurance sectors and government departments. Why? Because they typically have lots of interactions with lots of individuals or corporations. So millions of customers, millions of transactions, and they have to be able to manage in a secure and effective uh, manner that aspect of the business. General Manager of Technology Services Gary Doig says when the Bendigo and Adelaide banks merged in 2007, the two mainframes were the easiest technologies to integrate. And that's because it's, it's well structured, it's well governed, it, it's reliable. So we're able to do that and close down some of the data centres and get the economy of scale from that step relatively easily compared to the complexity of, of Windows and Unix, Unix environments. But the mainframe's longevity is causing a new problem, with a recent survey by BMC Software saying it's now difficult to find experienced people to maintain systems. It's beholden on the industry and on the user community to make sure we're constantly introducing uh, new blood into the industry so that we can continue to support platforms over time. In Australia, uh, there is a, a nighty shortage uh, of skills, and um, especially in the mainframe. Um, so if you look at the mainframe workforce, uh, that workforce is ageing. Many are in their 40s or 50s or older. So we need to work on that. In the past year, NAB faced some technical issues that stopped customers accessing their cash, and it's believed a mainframe application was to blame. It's pretty rare that we have the sorts of events that, that occurred last year, and there were a handful of events that occurred. Um, and the second part of that is it's a confluence of situations that have to happen for a, a situation like that to occur. There will be some human error, there will be some process error, and, and there will possibly be some you know, technology issues that occur. Despite mainframe technology being 50 years old, it's still the most secure and stable platform, with many mid-sized businesses wanting to run their cloud applications through the mainframe system. So with new opportunities to expand the mainframe user base, it looks like this technology won't be obsolete for some time to come.